Welcome to Majestic Mug, where every story holds a hidden surprise, and each tale leads you somewhere unexpected. Today, we're taking a lighter path, because even the calmest moments can hold a spark of humor and mystery. Every upload brings something a little different, a new story, a new twist. Some will make you laugh, others will make you think, but all will keep you guessing until the very end. So, pour yourself a cup, get comfortable, and join me for some relaxing tales that will leave you smiling and maybe a little curious. One quiet morning, Bob sat at his kitchen table, staring intently at his cup of coffee. He frowned confused. It's gone again, he whispered, narrowing his eyes at the mug. He could have sworn he poured a full cup just moments ago. This was the third time this week. The coffee just seemed to disappear. Bob leaned back in his chair and sighed. I'm either losing my mind, he muttered, or I've got a coffee thief on my hands. Determined to solve the case, Bob set up a hidden camera in the kitchen the next morning. He brewed a fresh pot, poured himself a steaming cup, and left it on the table. Minutes later, as he reviewed the footage, the truth was revealed. It was his dog, Sparky. Bob watched in disbelief as Sparky, the laziest dog in town, quietly nudged the chair, hopped onto the table, and lapped up the coffee with no remorse. The best part? The dog always left just enough coffee at the bottom to make it look like Bob had forgotten to fill the cup. Bob stared at the footage and sighed. Well, at least someone's getting their morning energy. There's something special about grandma's cooking. Everyone knows that. But my grandma, she had a secret weapon. The family always raved about her cookies. And for years, we tried to figure out what made them so special. One day, while she was baking in the kitchen, I decided to sneak in and observe. Maybe she had some secret ingredient, a pinch of magic or a dash of wizardry. As I peered around the corner, I saw her take the flour, the sugar, the eggs, but then she did something strange. Grandma reached into the cupboard, pulled out a small flask, and took a tiny sip. She smiled, tucked the flask away, and continued mixing the dough. I couldn't resist anymore. Grandma, what's in the flask? I asked, trying to sound casual. She looked at me over her glasses, grinning. Oh, sweetie, she chuckled. That's not for the cookies. That's for me. Keeps my hands steady. Well, now I know why Grandma's cookies always came out so perfectly. I always thought my cat, Mr. Whiskers, was secretly a genius. He had this way of looking at you like he knew everything, like he was plotting something. So, one afternoon, I decided to test his intelligence. I laid out three cups on the floor and hid a treat under one of them. I shuffled the cups around, all while Mr. Whisker sat there unimpressed, his tail flicking lazily. All right, Whiskers, I said confidently, which cup is it? Without missing a beat, Mr. Whiskers walked over, stared at me, then knocked all three cups over in one swift motion. The treat flew out, and he calmly ate it, licking his paws afterward as if to say, I don't play your games, human. I sat there in shock, and then it hit me. He was a genius, just not the kind I expected. One day, I was in an elevator, riding up to the 10th floor. As the doors were closing, a man rushed in, completely out of breath. 
He looked panicked and whispered, I don't think I'm going to make it. Concerned, I asked, Are you all right? What's wrong? He looked at me with wide eyes and said, I'm supposed to meet my wife upstairs, but I promised her I'd start taking the stairs for exercise. We both stared at the glowing numbers as the elevator climbed higher, his guilt growing with every floor. By the time we reached the 10th floor, he took a deep breath and said, Well, I guess I'll just run down the stairs and pretend I did the whole thing. Last year, I forgot my best friend Mike's birthday, so this year, I was determined to make it unforgettable. I went to the store, found the biggest, most over-the-top card I could find, and wrote a heartfelt message inside. On the day of his birthday, I handed it to him with a big smile, expecting gratitude, maybe even tears of joy. He opened it, read the message, and said, this is really sweet, but this card's for a five-year-old. I froze, realizing I'd grabbed a card with cartoon animals and the words, you're growing up so fast. Mike looked at me, trying not to laugh. Well, it's the thought that counts, right? Fred had a collection of lawn gnomes. His front yard looked like a magical forest full of tiny, ceramic guardians. His neighbors always tease him about his obsession, but Fred didn't mind, until the gnome started disappearing. First, it was the gnome with the red hat, then the one fishing by the pond. Every week, a new gnome would vanish. Determined to catch the thief, Fred stayed up all night, Hiding behind the bushes with a flashlight, hours passed, and just when he was about to give up, he saw movement. It wasn't a person, it was a squirrel, a tiny, determined squirrel, dragging one of the gnomes toward a tree. Fred watched in disbelief as the squirrel tried to haul the gnome up into its nest, struggling but refusing to give up. Fred couldn't help but laugh. He lost half his gnomes to a squirrel who clearly thought they were deluxe nesting materials. <laughs>